So do you ever have this huge dilemma? You don't know which side of your designer series paper to use? To me, it's obvious. <laughs> but, you know, we love just crafting cards where you can see both sides of the paper. So in this quick card, ooh, I should, we'll just show you what these turn into. Um, or I'll turn in, I'll, I'll find one of them. Because, you know, we love embracing quick crafting. Okay, you want to see what, Tim, do you want to see what yours are going to turn into? Because he's going to finish this. Look at how adorable this is. And we have both sides. Oh, I love it. So do you see how we've taken this and we've turned it into this? Uh, and, and we just see a little bit of that on the front too. So really some awesome Ooh. card designs today. So we'll get to that. But of course, first we've got mail. Only four cards. But, but we will wait, wait, start wait, with wait, that. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait. This Karen likes me up here, you know, uh -huh. but I actually thought that I could lean back and just be really <laughs> chill. Yeah, because I love having the a big, great big head. The big head and I have a little one. <laughs> I know okay. okay, let's do That's the an best. Aside. <laughs> so glad know. to have you guys joining us. So, okay. A couple of cards. Oh, card for me from Pat Nagy. Oh, oh well, so cool. Oh, uh, that is so fun. Hello oh, to Tim. And a wonderful says. note. Okay, guys, this is inked and tiled. And one of the things she's thanking us for is the retreat. I mean, I have a couple of things to talk about today, which is pretty fun. I, I guess I usually do, don't I? Yeah, you do. Look how she did the inside, too. You always talk about fun but things. This is, um, look at this paper and look what she's done she's, with the new punches. That is so cool. I love that copied. accent on the front. Isn't that fun? Very nice. Very cool. And then we have Catherine Heinzman. Oh, wonderful. Oh, so fun. She's thanking me for a little gift she got in one of our drawings. Over in the back porch stampers, we have a card challenge every week. And it always has to do with what we're showing here today on Thursday. And, and someone always wins a little prize. So it's always fun because it's just a drawing, just because we like to see your cards too. Why just see one person's designs when you can see a whole bunch? Look at how lovely Ooh. this is. This is a, an online paper that is still available. And I love that really is pretty paired is. with those circle dies. Very nice. And an awesome layout. Just love the quick to see how that's three designer series paper out of the same pack just arranged. So how and pretty. Open it up again because I love the effect of that. Yes. And you've mentioned that before in a card because I often, if I do... An embossing folder, I do it as a layer on top. And this, when you do the whole front of the card, that is really stunning. I need to remember that myself because. I tried it. Yeah. Yeah. Because it just makes the inside lovely. And why add an extra layer? <laughs> so that's so an awesome nice. idea. So nice. And then we have Madeline Glover from New York. Oh, how fun. What happy paper. I absolutely love this paper. <laughs> Look at this paper. And this is one of the really quick designs we've done in recent weeks for those of you that follow along. Isn't that an awesome one? Just it the is. three strips and the word in the middle. Life is like an ice cream. Enjoy it before it melts. <laughs> I love it. I love and that it. that makes me hungry. I like that. <laughs> Pat think... was saying the paper she used was from an old set called Symmetry. I was trying to think of the name of that. And I cannot believe, look, how it just goes so well with this new punch. So I thought that is so cool. Thank you for sharing, Lavar, and uh, oh, those of you that shared is just the sweetest thing you can do. And best of stream uh, for me. Oh, I love this stamp set. I just have one card with it, and I've shown it all the time. It was a Father's Day, and look at how this is appreciating mm -hmm. all you do. Look how beautiful that is with just paper, mm -hmm. this cut out, and just a lovely sentiment. So and, there is wonderful. And it's reminding us that in four months we'll have snow on the ground. Yes. I love Joan's oh, yeah. comment. She said, I was waiting patiently for one o'clock. It came and went. Figured I'd have to watch the replay. And then I realized the time difference. <laughs> and I'm here on time. Oh, so funny. <laughs> now, Karen. Yes. That was it. And we're talking. Oh. We're talking. Well. We have been we have been inundated with cards. We love that. But this is actually pretty convenient because we Okay. You have, so you have so much. I, I'm to a, show. So much. <laughs> Yeah, but we so love it all. We yeah, still love so on the rare day. Show. Tim tells me every day whether there's a card in the mail or not when he gets the mail. Plus, it's always his announcement. I have, no to, go, cards. I have so. to go take a nap too. So. <laughs> okay. So this is the giveaway stamp set. Some of you have sent me and some of these are my extra stamp sets from time gone by. This is what we do with retired sets. So I just love it. This bloom by bloom. We were doing a summer theme. So this is our second flower one. This is going to Aaron Williams. Aaron just 
message me your address and I'll pop that in the mail to you. And then, and then, oh, Deb said she so looks forward to Thursdays. Oh, we just love that. You guys, you guys are awesome. This is going to be the new one. And I thought this was a nice bridge because we do have leaves and flowers. I like this May Your Day bloom with beauty and joy. So thankful. And it also has a joyful Christmas because we are, I know it's a little early and it's still really, really hot, but the new catalog is the holiday catalog and I'm actually going to be showing a Christmas card today. So I thought this kind of bridges the gap. So this is the drawing for next week. All I need to do is see your name. So comment, share, whatever you want to do. So your name shows up. I just love it. And then this is the card, one of the cards in the card kit. You know that if you place a $50 order with me, you get three cards, you get everything except the sentiment. So you get all the pieces, you would stamp this, assemble the cards. I love doing this. This is one of the three cards you get. And then you just get an extra handmade card too. So it was really fun. Linda is from Singapore. And she's a night owl. She couldn't sleep. She decided to watch us. <laughs> We're glad to have you here. <laughs> so this is my card club. And then what I the other thing I wanted to mention was I had a question about what is the difference between all good cards, put this back on me for a moment, all good cards club, and then the card lock, card play online retreat. Because we have the save the date out, the next card play retreat. The retreat I do with my team members, and I just love doing that. We do that three times a year when the new catalogs come out. So the next one is later September. And you'll see lots of things going on that with that. With that, we do, you can purchase a card kit for eight make and takes. Um, that is just a special three times a year thing. And I, I just love doing things with my team. So we all participate equally and you get to know all of them. I love that. All Good Cards Club is what, I, what I've done. It's my little membership club for, that I've done for years. It's $15 a month. And each month we pursue some different topic. You get, we do three Facebook Lives. You get access forever. You get the PDFs. Uh, the next one is a week from Tuesday. So it's three sessions and we're doing background techniques. And I'm going to show you just a quick card for what, one of the cards that we're going to be doing. But I just love it because we all use our own supplies. That never has card kits with it. You, you know, nothing needs to be stamping up. Uh, it's more about techniques, layouts, whatever. But it's um, all of the old classes. I mean, everything is like evergreen. You can always go back and watch them. So that's the difference. It's two different things. Um, card play on is more expensive, but it's just a quarterly. It's a whole different thing. So just to retreat that, I love that you guys said that you love the retreat. So this is wonderful. Sure, and we'd everyone. love to have you in the All Good Cards Club. And I always take suggestions too for ideas, but I, I love just doing different things. And we kind of hang out like this, a lot of tips. Does everyone know what evergreen means? Because that's kind of a, a little obscure. It just means... You know, like a card layout is a card layout forever or a fun fold or what we're doing today. You can come back a year from now with new papers and make the same card we're making today. And it's absolutely gorgeous. So, so does it stay online forever and ever? Yeah, you have access forever. Yeah. Okay. As long as, you know, Facebook doesn't do something weird and disappear. <laughs> but but they already we have. aren't doing they it. They already have. <laughs> okay. And then my last thing, I want to talk a little bit about paper shares. A couple of you have asked. Um, and we're doing some, we're offering some different things. And I wanted to explain why. And the information is coming out. I will, the link will be added here as soon as it's ready. I know Holly is working on it. So as soon as it goes to print, we'll put it on here. So we offer six, we also offer ribbon and embellishment shares. So that's also added, but I'm just going to talk about the paper shares today and the choices and kind of why we have them. So we always do a six by six paper share. If you do the six by six paper, you get double, you get double papers, if that makes sense. Or you can get just one paper of everything and get card bases to go with it. Um, this is particularly good for people who do not have a lot of the different colors and you just want to experiment. Uh, but you only get one of these, if that makes sense. So you don't get all of that. Okay. So I hope that's clear. I love six by six shares because I think it's a great idea. You can see what papers you really like and then you could decide to get a full pack. But we're also offering two other things this time, and it's on purpose. We're offering one that is one 12 by 12. So it's basically a half pack. So it's more expensive, but it's like a half pack of all the 12 by 12s. And then one sheet of each of the patterns in the six by sixes. 
and I'll tell you why. <laughs> this is, this is, um, do you see how this is a whole, I, if you're a scrapbooker, would this be a gorgeous thing? If you've got kids or grandkids in uh, the Christmas play, would this, would these things just be gorgeous backgrounds? Uh, you can see when we cut this apart, if I cut it into quarters, somebody's going to get this, but somebody's just going to get this, you know, it's not going to be enough to go together if that makes sense. So it's a tasting. And since there are several papers in this catalog that are like that, we wanted to also present this as an option. Hope that makes sense. Then we do a six by 12 too, because that gives you more options, but I had to show you wouldn't be able to do the card I'm making today because that's we need six by six and that's six by oh, 12. Oh, six by 12. Yeah. No, nope. And this is 12 by 12. This is 12 by 12. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But do you see how the six by six runs the long way? That's so that you wouldn't, somebody wouldn't get the whole sky, but the paper we're using today is from the bottom. So that's why I wanted to kind of talk about this because there's ins and outs of paper. I still think it's an awesome deal to get the six by sixes, play with what you'd like, and then just buy one or two packs of what you might want the full sheets. But this way, we have lots of different options, so if that makes sense. Um, and I have a couple, of, so watch for that because we just love doing these and we will start taking orders now. We can't order the, the papers until September 6th, so we order them quickly, get them turned around and sent out to you. And I know a lot of you loved with the card bases. We had debated whether we are continue doing that because it is a lot more work, but I know it's really helpful to have cards at work. Um, I am loving uh, Gail's comment about the the uh, retreats that are online that you can go back and watch the replays. And somebody else was saying that, love, we post the measurements for retreats early. And the other thing about retreats, we're highlighting new things in the catalog. So you get like nine different bundles or something. I don't, I don't know, seven, whatever, however many bundles. But you get information ahead of time. So if you want to place your own orders for things, it's all good. Um, so we love doing all. So wh whatever you can do. So, okay. So uh, it's a trial doing the 6 by 12 and 12 by 12s And we're just going to see if there's enough interest. So it may or may not be offered again. But it sort of fit these papers. And it really fit talking about this because of the card we're doing today. <laughs> so that's why uh, um, I just wanted to explain our thinking. So, yes. Oh. So yesterday, oh, I was just going to say, we, we added these things yesterday. So um, we had the paper shows already. We thought, when we were talking about what I'm doing today, we met Holly and her dad, which is really fun, down in Clear Lake. He was staying with her and then on his way home. And, you know, we met Holly through her parents. So it's just fun there. Um, Good friend of mine. And he's a very, very close friend with Tim. So uh, the men went out walking and doing things. And Holly and I brainstormed for a long time. It was great. We went to the um, Buddy Holly. Buddy, the, the no, what was it? I'm, I'm thinking of the the name of the the ballroom. Ballroom, yes. Oh, ah. Anyway, we went to the ballroom that Buddy Holly last performed at, performed at, and there was oh so much to look at, so okay. many pictures. So very fun. So now we will get down to. I will make this solo again. <laughs> okay, so, okay. So I'm going to show you the card for this. Oh, and look at this. I actually have the, the Dibity scene itself is gone. Look at the dies. Uh, and here is the card. So I'm going to do something with that? Well, I'll do this oh, first you're one. you're going to do that. Go ahead. But see, this is a planar card, but look at the dies on here. So this is Oh Holy Night, and this opens like this. Mm. And I think this is just a stunning Christmas card. You know, this is something you just make probably for special people because you could just get, well, you could get four out of a pack of paper and then you do other designs, but you could do other papers similar. There's another paper that would work similar to this too. But I think Surf Ballroom. Thank you, Labar. Yes, See, thank we you. just need help to <laughs> finish everything. But I just think this is such a fun look. I'm calling this a fun fold. I don't know if it really is because it just plain opens, but we're folding the paper. So you could see, we could do this whole thing just with designer series paper. My thought is that mm -hmm. what this thing is missing is the North Star. So, but I, yeah, I know. So, I know. Actually, the one I did here, you're going to notice, Ooh. but I still couldn't fit that in. Yeah. But I did put in the star there for Oh Holy Night. All right. And that's a little bit. And we could do that. And we could move this a little lower and move that there. So, there's a lot of possibilities. So, this is all, you know, we, we live in the world of. But then possibilities, you would, right? You'd have to waste paper. <laughs> and it's okay. It's just fun. This paper, I was going to show all the papers in them. This is actually gorgeous paper. I might have to actually, um, 
how did I forget this paper? I don't know if I have one on the floor, if I have one. I might have to go get one while you're what working you on your for? card, Tim. So we want this card to be folded up and to be five and a half by four and a quarter. You know, this is a little flimsier, but it doesn't matter at all. It still stands up beautifully. It's just, it's just a great card. So we want it to be this size. And so when we cut regular paper is 11 inches or cardstock, it is automatically this size. Since we're using this, we have the extra 12. So what we're doing, instead of cutting it off, we're folding it over so you get a glimpse of the other side. Isn't that cool? Ooh. I'm going to be showing you a bunch of other cards with these two as we go through. Um, we're going to make three, but then I have... Uh, a few more to show. So what I'm going to do, this is one inch too long. So I'm going to just score it at one inch. Fold that over. Now look, now it's 11 inches. So now we can score it in the middle at five and a half. I like saying that just because it kind of makes it descriptive. Otherwise you're scoring at one and six and a half. Yes. But by showing this, it just makes it easy to see. Oh yeah, that's how we do it. And then we just get the card in half. I did score through. And because it's designed a series paper, it's really easy if any fold is a little off to just scrunch it a little. Oh, see, so this is fine. Now, this one's going to show a little of this because it is um, a little higher. Um, I cut out all the pieces for this. And then I've been running around. And what happens? They disappear on me, Tim. I just don't know what, what's going to happen. I don't know if I, this actually. <laughs> I might just be showing the fold on this card, <laughs> but I think, so how cool is this? So when I make a card and I'm going to do this, we can do the front. The next one I have all the pieces for. <laughs> okay. So do you see how I just took a little one inch piece? This is Pebbled Path. Pebbled Path. I just love this. That's what I'm using for the silhouette here. Then I use Crumb Cake for the camel because they all kind of go with this paper. And I just love those earth tones. So whenever I cut this out, these are words that... Um, Go, go go with this and then they go with this part and then on the inside so this goes here and i just added that so i guess we'll do this one later that'll be just fine in here we just added glory to god in the highest and then here are just the dies so this is what's missing out of here because i was still making a bunch of these um for some other cards but isn't that just pretty so this will show a little bit more of the blue now, where you would write on this, you could just write your name if you're just doing a name thing. Otherwise, I would write on the back. I would just, you could just add like computer paper to something really light and put your message because this is just a lovely card as it looks like to that. Uh -huh. Did I use part of the corner punch? No, this is actually a die from one of the dies. And you know, I, when I do dies, so, so someone I know will look it up and tell me, you guys know that I do a whole bunch of certain dyes. So then when I wanted to do these words, I just looked through my things to see that were already done to see what was going to be a good fit. <laughs> I did that for that. And then I did it for the inside too. So I said, I just bring out my little display. So, okay, now we'll do one from scratch. Would you guys like to see the whole amount of this paper? I'm going to have Tim finish. Oh my goodness. Um, you didn't get to complete yours, but I do. Uh, well, yeah, so, so we'll work on another one, and then when you're completing it, I will both get that paper. So this is, we're going to do a Halloween card with, where are the two cards we were just showing? Um, over here. Oh, T Tim took them away, but he doesn't know he's not working. And of course, you know, you I've taken, I they're for today's thing. <laughs> this is how well we work together. I have a bunch more of these because I cut out a whole paper. Look at these dies. These are bag of bones. And we have these dogs, cats, these skeletons, and we have all these different little bones. Look at this whole set of things we've got. We've got cowboy boots, hat. We've got all kinds of stuff. I keep all these extras in a little baggie. Is it not around? Okay, what, is, what am I looking for? Uh, the paper you were showing with the Halloween, and you said, I know what side I'll use. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> If they're not here, then maybe they're in my stack. <gasps> Tim, we might have to start planning rehearsals. Oh, that would be, that well, is so weird. We might we have never to... rehearsed. Uh, no. It's okay, always... you're going to look at the paper and I'm going to go look for the card. That is so bizarre. Um, where did you, <laughs> this is going to be, where did anything else get put? I don't think anywhere. Well, okay, we are. Oh, you found them? No. Oh. 
let's let's just say that we are not on our we're not on our best game today. So, but I like this. Creep it real, creep it real. I love that. Tomb, sweet tomb. Rest in peace, Jack O. Lantern. I wonder if there's anyone with the name Jack O. Lantern. And um, Ricky De Bones. Ricky De Rickety, okay, I'm Rickety just do Bones. Another one. Since we can't find that, we'll do one from scratch. It's all good. I'm going to go cut this at four and a quarter by 12 inches. <laughs> okay. Um, what else can I show you? Skeletons. Um, that is so weird that we can't find the paper. Um, hurry up, Karen. I'm running out of things to say. Um, here she comes. I'm back, nope. but I still think this is the oddest thing. This is what you moved off. Okay. Come, come. So that is. I, I stopped talking. Tim. <laughs> well, this is, is new. Believe. We haven't had this happen before. This is really bizarre. Um, well, well, we'll wing it. <laughs> no, these are cut. These are die cut. That's why I have a bunch else. Uh, you know me. I would fussy cut, but these are, there are die cuts for these. And if you noticed this paper, so see, I die cut a complete page out of these. So we've got all these little cats and dogs. So, so cute. When we show up the other one, you'll see the front again, but we're just going to really look at the inside here. I did find my other paper. So see, that's why you have all these dies. Now we have all these little dies, which would be really cute. This is, this is kind of like putsy. This was not putsy. I, you know, I'm not a big putzer. So we'll see how many of the dies in here, but I love the others. Okay, Laura says, don't feel bad. I spent half an hour looking for some dies in my craft room this morning. Oh my goodness, yes. And Sharon says that happens at her house too, where things just walk away. And it's gonna be so obvious when we find it. You guys know it is, so thanks. I am so, so glad to- um, That they're putting up with this? <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> I guess we just, um, well, Oh, and guess what, Tim? It's my you fault. You found it. Oh. It is my fault. Can you believe it? Yes, I can. Okay. It was on the cutting board. Do you know when you look for something and then it's totally in, <laughs> totally right where you're trying to look? Yeah. So this is the front, which we aren't going to worry about, but we're going to do the inside. But do you see how this has been added? This part of the front is also just cut out of the paper. So we're going to take this. Do you remember, do you want to do this whole card? Oh, yes. Let me do it. Okay, so first you're going to... One gonna, inch. One inch. Mm -hmm. So me? who's doing this with us? Yeah, it always shows up when we're finished. <laughs> and if I were good at editing, then I'd be really smooth and I'd come back and I'd talk like it never happened and I would just, you know, bunch that together. But instead, you guys get to do it. It's those craft room gremlins. I, I'm right, Nan. That's all right. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> yes. We have no oh, choice no. but to keep it. To do, um, I think I cut it. You're, you're being a little hard, but that's okay. We're, we'll pretend it's fine. Okay. Okay. So you're going to fold that. Yeah. Yeah. And the, this time you won't cut. Now where are you going to score? Now you're going to go, you so want right to go a middle. little lighter on this paper right than cardstock. Right in the middle. So yeah. this is 11. So five and a half. Yep. Wow. I can do my math. I know. Yeah. Isn't that uh... okay. And then you're going to fold that in half. I just think this is such a whoa fun way. That's totally good. If you don't think it folded up great, yeah, no, it's totally good. If you don't think it folded up great, you just put these ends together. Okay. Uh, and then you go back and do it. So okay. totally good. Okay. And then we're just going to add this paper. Whoops, we should go to this. This paper has, <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, you guys, this, this just might not be our day. This, okay, there, I think we have it. This says boo, but do you see that, Tim? It's all written backwards. So it, is it Ooh. like meant to look at in a mirror, I think, or something like is. that? Uh, you know, it's one of those uh, those fun things. So this is what I do. Uh, you know that this is longer? What are, I'm doing this. Oh, okay. You're going to attach, put tape on there. <laughs> <laughs> I should be 
Got my mouth Gail open. says she put some papers away and couldn't find them. Her brother asked if she put them in the cabinet. That's where they were. <laughs> okay. okay. What, am I, what am I supposed to do now? This you're going to see put like that. It's just going to be your little. Mm. Oh, that, should I just add it like that? Yeah. Okay. Now I often, you can see I left this part um, longer. Sometimes I'll even just put this in the middle because when I'm done, then I'll slice it off in case this isn't quite the same length. Mm. So that's just um, a little le leeway, but we'll just cut that off. And then you're just going to decorate the inside. And I'm not going to show you mine. I added a boo on mine and I don't have an extra one handy, but you're just going to look at these characters and just see what you want to do. Now you can okay. always put another a, a die cutter piece of paper in here to have part of it be the words. I'm going to show you guys the one. I just wanted to show you that the boo comes from the paper also. So I cut that one out for there, but you can have it do. And if you want to give me pieces, I will put a little tape on and then you'll put it where you want it. Okay, let's start with this one. Okay. Start with this. And I love using a silicone mat because none of it will. And then look at that. He puts it somewhere totally different. <laughs> so I think how fun is that? Okay, next. Next, we've got the cat. Should we probably start with the big stuff. So, well, it's your card, Joe. You know, it doesn't matter. Now, if you look at this, this would be fun to do with kids. Do you see? I, I was. Uh, Thinking this is like oh, almost like taking stickers and putting them wherever and kind of making these fun things. Okay. <laughs> Pat says her husband asked her if she meant to throw away a $10 bill. <laughs> she said, of course not. I'm so glad you guys can relate because I said, I... <laughs> oh, life is too short to not laugh over. Now, if you notice, do you see how I have all these little strings? This is where a silicone mat is so good because I pick this up and I just look at me. Anywhere where there's a little extra doodads, it would just come right off, but I don't have a messy paper. Nothing's going to stick down here. Okay. This is next to Rickety Bone. Now he's on a color theme. Do you see this? So far oh, he's I all am. going with all these colors. So I thought, how cool. This says, Creep It Real, Tomb <laughs> Sweet Tomb, Rest in Peace, Jack-O-Lantern, <laughs> and Rickety Bones. Okay. Rickety Bones. I just got it now. I didn't get it when I first read it. <laughs> <laughs> Rickety, Rickety bones. bones. How cute. Are you done? Um, I don't know. Do I have any more to work with? You, you, have, all, you have all these. All, all those. Okay. But let's, you'd be changing colors. So it depends on if you want another layer of colors. You know, let's do a on. little white cat. Okay. <laughs> I said this is so fun. <laughs> Dia says this gives her lots of ideas for paper she hasn't been able to figure out how to use. Do you know, this is a great use it up paper style. You're right with um, doing two things because you can put anything in it. And I think, how cool is that? So we're just going to pair our insides. <laughs> Not even <laughs> that close. sound right, did it? No, oh, we just have to close that up. But look how these can all be different. Is that just fun? Yes. And one better than the other. Where's my boo? You didn't... Yeah, that's why I said, oh. I, I, I forgot to cut out another one for you. But see, you could add a boo right in here. I could. Right? So it's all good. Or that could be another little comment thing but anyway okay. so how fun is that these are all going to go in my little bag bag of things so that's a little halloween taste next we're going to do oh i know this is going backwards a little but i did want to show you i found the paper um i didn't need to find the paper did i because i was showing it in the uh in the uh paper swatches but i just wanted to show the different colors Ooh. um Okay, this is showing two of them, but I thought these are absolutely gorgeous. So we'll, we'll do this a little more quickly here. And to see, there's another blue. And look at those blues. Mm. Here is another one that would work that just has that long thing right there. Uh, potential spam really likes to call us when we're going on live here. And oh, I love these colors. So just a lot that you can do with these. Okay, so on to non to our next. Next, we're going to do this paper is also just gorgeous. This is, let's see, what is this paper called? This is called, we're going to make one card and I'm going to show you one. Winter Meadow Paper. And it is Ooh. so pretty. Um, aptly named. Yes. Aptly made. So, um, and all of these could be Christmas. Okay, this is, that's the first one I was going to show. So look at this. This is in here, and I made these for the um, 
uh, for using this, but it's just like knowing you brings joy to my heart. I'm not doing them as Christmas. Um, these are just kind of more wintry cards, but I just love this. You'll see, I cut this out of a corner of this. Ooh. And then when you open it, look at, we just see this lovely piece. And I've added the dies from this are really cool. I love they that. have, oh, well, those aren't the right dies. These are dies from something else. This really, really <laughs> but look how pretty this is. In, yeah. These are dies for the coordinating stamp that goes there. The dies that go with this but they're in the other room because I was using them for some other things. But look at how pretty this is. We just added, these are kind of like leafy things, but they look enough like trees. Mm -hmm. I just kind of had them uh, fill in. And it's not just a pretty winter scene. So I think that is really fun. The one we're oh, going to make. We used a lot of little bling on that. Inside yes, I like the little, you know, on these wintry cards, these, these are the little um, sequiny bling. Yeah. So I Whoa. kind of put them all over because it was such a, quiet card with soft colors, you know, kind of mm -hmm. a smoky slate kind of card. And I thought it just was perfect bling. On this one, I've added other little sequiny bling. So this is the same paper. It's right here. Mm. And then on this one, the other side was so bland. I just added another little piece in here to just add that. Mm. But on this one, I love these trees. This is what I wanted to show. Look at this set. This is Forever Forest. And these are the dies. And I am using just the dies. And do you see how there are four trees like this yep. in different sizes? And then even a much bigger one. These are so awesome. So I use the four little ones, three on the outside and one on the inside. But you didn't use the the outline the, no i did those are yeah those outlines. would be outlines but i didn't yeah. I, so, so they're all things you could do i just love it when dyes can also stand alone i see that i'll get a love uh a lot of use out of this so i think this one i, I just i gotta say that that is a perfect inside is that, that just yeah it adds so much to it then i'm just going to share some other cards but i'll do this fold one more time so I'm going to, you can walk me through it. Okay, one inch. And don't don't put so much pressure on it. Good job. <laughs> so okay. there's my one inch. And then right in the middle. Now I almost put too little pressure on it. <laughs> five and a half, I think. And then five and a half. I think. Yes. Isn't that cool? And then I can even, if I'm trying to get it really perfect, I can line it like that because it's going to fall right into the score line. Isn't that just mm. fun? So here is my base card. Then I'm adding... I will make sure I get this on the screen here. I am going to add this. And then I'm going to close it up. That is my base card already done. I'm just going to, oh, mine's backwards. <laughs> Tim's laughing because he saw that coming. <laughs> This is really a comment on the day, isn't it? Hey, but this is going to work too. It is. Oh, it's, it's totally it going to work. It does. This time, I'm going to put that birthday wishes inside because this will be really lovely mm -hmm. like that. Um, and I, well, I have my pieces out here. We'll see. See, I have my four trees. Okay. So whether I can find them all today, <laughs> otherwise we're just moving on and considering this. Off. Right there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Birthday wishes. I have right here. I'm going to do this on the inside. Oh, this is fun. And uh, yeah. you're going to use the silicone mat, right? On um, these, I am. On those, yeah. Uh, that one I'll put on the front. Um, because I might want this front to be more decorated, I might actually do a little more with this front. But I love how we can just kind of switch things up. I, don't, I want to put adhesive on the backs here. So we'll. I'll just put a little bit on here. I don't know what's back in front. Well, I guess uh, you can see you when can you look tell, up closely, yeah. but I don't know if you can tell. Them that. No, I can I can actually tell. Yeah. Okay. So here again, I can take either, take your pick tool. I can take a little thing, but I just take my fingers and just kind of to get out anything that is extra. So I just love my silicone mat. It just works. Could also squeeze glue dots for this. That would work. So I'm going to put this one right here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put this little one tucked in under there and I'm going to put this one over here. See, I could always add something to the other side if I wanted to. So I could think about this if I want this to be a display thing. Um, but then I'm going to move the other part to the card front um, and I will put a little background with that. 
Okay, so if that makes sense, what I'm using blueberry bushel, that or navy works with this, but I just wanted to do the bright color. So um, I think, anyway, so fun. And to just think these are the same style, you know, but you get different papers. I just love this. I just love the soft colors, the muted. And I think the whole idea of winter meadow just is wonderful. And these papers are just gorgeous. So if you're, oh, <laughs> I almost got dim. If you're a scrapbooker, look how yeah. beautiful this paper would be in the background too. Okay. So I'm going to put that aside and then. Stamp it up. Continues to impress me. Yes. The last two That's cards. Weird. I, we have a bear punch, which I just love. And the other thing that's really cool with the bear punch, there are two sets of paper that work with it. This is from A Walk in the Forest. And I've used up some of this and I didn't have another pack. Um, I think these, I, I, I might have um, combined these, but you see, these are the bears that fit the punch. So I love that we have brown bears. And I just think these are really pretty scenes. So these are... So the ones that don't, the, the different shaped ones. Right. They don't know. And then we have this, if you don't mind fussy cutting, or, you know, those are just adorable animals or circles. A lot of them would fit Ooh. into um, circles. Uh, so I don't have all of the papers from this, but look at this fun mix. Oh, maybe I have most of them. So all of these fun mix of papers. Then there's also this one that says Berry Christmas, but of course I'm not making Christmas cards. Uh, but when I look at this, I do a lot of uh, winter birthdays and uh, so other than this, this feels like Christmas to me, but nothing else does on this. So I will use it for other things, but look at these papers. So, and you'll see again, here's where we have the punch. So a bunch of these work with the punch. And I think, look at this. Hmm. That is absolutely gorgeous. So this is one, this is what I mean by some of the papers being like this. So if you get a six by six and you get the background colors, you might just get the top and you just don't realize what it is. So I just wanted to point that out. That's the only difference. Uh, but I still think it's a great way to go. But aren't these fun? Oh, I think this one belongs in this one, not the other one. Or I'm, I'm back to showing some, I don't know. I probably mixed up the two patterns, but I love that there are two patterns with that. And now we have two cards to show. Um, TJ says she had everything ready to, to work along with me and the phone rang and now she's way behind. But, <laughs> but you will love all this. And of course, Whoa. you know, this is what we're doing over in the back porch stampers. We're going to see your cards with this. You don't need you stamping up paper. And this is a perfect thing to use up some of your supply of retired papers. Oh, the Grove dies would be beautiful with that paper, Jane. Oh, so yes, we want to see everything. And if you were doing the Grove dies, that could be done on the front or in the inside. We can't wait to see what you do. So this is happiest of birthdays. He's hauling the birthday presents and you'll see. And then I just cut apart this stamp. You mean so much to me. Mm. And I thought, how fun. So that's what would sit on and the display. These two are popped up. And these two. Oh, thanks. And those that. are not. Yes. Th this is the scenery. And I added a couple of more popped up. Mm -hmm. And then, so these are just a lot of different techniques. And I've added some snowflakes from the current snowflakes. That's on the online thing that we do with the one horse open sleigh a lot. But I thought, isn't that fun? I love it. So you could imagine these in all kinds of things. And then here is another one. So I'm going to look at the fronts first. This is happiest of birthdays. I use the same. And here he's sitting with the gift there. And then you just see the other sides of the paper with it. I just think that's so fun. Here they're walking through the forest. So I have all of them walking in a row. Oh, who wants the bunny gift? You know, Ooh, that, no. I don't know. Hope the parents are prepared. But do you see how these are popped up and some of the trees are popped up and then offset. So they kind of have a little shadow effect here and so two of scarves and two of uh, yeah or two of scarves and two of yeah. sweaters and this is great because they're I all like going this way this is the one that goes with the punch i think and yes i did fuss to cut the others but you know i would do that when tim watches tv and then i would write on the back but i thought but aren't those fun cards they just have a a different little look to them so i think uh Let's see, we'll get them all out. So we have are we? six cards. So do you have a favorite? So love to know people are our favorite. So we're, we're, no, we're done. We are done. These are, and we'd love to see the same. And then uh, I, I think these are also fun. I think the polar bear and well, on those Halloween too, if you do Halloween with kids, but any of these polar bear things are so, they'd be really fun with kids. Some of them are fussy cut, but there is a stamp set and you can just stamp and punch out a bunch of bears. And that would be the easiest thing if you're going to make a lot of scenery card, but a lot of fun crafting with kids with these my favorite okay 
Oh, so fun. See, I love knowing that uh, nativity paper. And then I like to count that up and see. So we love that. So thank you everyone for joining us. And um, that's it. So watch for paper share information. Make sure you're on my email list because then you get the supply list early and you'll find out about the paper shares right away. Do you have, what'd you say? My second favorite. <laughs> yes. Perfect. So I think that's fun. Um, I don't know if them bone skeleton is the same as in the old paper pumpkin. I have no idea. I'm click. Usually things are, uh, I don't think the dies would exactly fit, but you could go back and probably get some great ideas or do similar things to this with that. So I just love it. They do look like Coke bears. That's a great idea. Um, so I love hearing that. I'll come back and read everything. And thanks for joining us. Have a wonderful weekend. And if you have any questions either about the All Good Cards Club or card play, let me know or anything else. Oh, one last thing. If you need the catalog. Oh, we do have one thing. If you need the catalog, we have them now. So ready to mail out. If you have ordered for me in the last six months, you're getting one automatically. And is this, this is not the right catalog. So if you haven't, and you aren't currently working with another demonstrator, because if you are, get your catalog from them, please. Otherwise you can, we, Tim would be glad to send you one. You just, uh, there is a link on here of where to go. And you can always find it at KarenTitus.com. It's just free catalogs across the top Ooh, to put in your name. So he loves, uh, he goes to the post office every other day. So it's perfect. Thanks guys. Sometimes, Have a wonderful weekend. Sometimes twice a day. Yeah, that's true.